YouTube as it going the goat house is back with an interesting video for you guys today and you guys can play along as well in the comments create your own Super Bowl matchup should be a lot of fun but the original video idea was rank the best possible Super Bowl matchups for this year and anytime anyone does that it ends up being the same few teams you know, very little matchups like number one, Chiefs versus this team. Number two, Chiefs versus this team. It's boring. It's lame. So what I did here was I took the teams that kind of separate themselves in terms of Vegas Super Bowl odds end up being 14 teams. There are other good teams, but any other team are kind of in the same boat. They have plus 4,000 or worse Super Bowl odds. So we took these 14 teams on your screen right now and created realistic Super Bowl matchups. The catch is when doing this, is you only can use each team once. So what that does is it, what it did was created seven totally different Super Bowl matchups. Now, if you play along, everyone's is going to be different. You're going to choose different matchups. It's just a little bit fun activity to do here. So um, here are mine. I picked seven matchups and I ranked them number seven. And you see, we crossed the Cowboys and the Dolphins off the board because that's who we picked for this number seven matchup. Uh, Dolphins versus Cowboys. I think the... The least entertaining out of the bunch if you're creating matchups here. Uh, and if, if you're playing along at home, maybe you don't have these two teams playing. Maybe you have them somewhere else uh, playing different teams. But, uh, but again, the least entertaining matchup out of the bunch here. But I do think entertaining. They play at the end of last season. Uh, two speedy, explosive offensive teams with some pretty good defense. I think this matchup, you know, if it was in a Super Bowl, I think it would be, you would think, fairly high scoring. But... You never know. Pretty good defensive star players on both sides. Uh, but And kind of when we're talking about these two teams, playoffs, Super Bowl, the thing that kind of comes up a lot you know, with people is these are teams that are really good but can't get over that hump or they can't win the big, big challenging game. So I thought that made an even matchup, and I ranked that one number seven. Number six, I'm going to go Ravens-Rams. Two really solid teams, obviously. The Ravens were the best team of the regular season last year. And these two teams actually played each other in the regular season last year. And it was a classic. It was a fun one. A lot of scoring. Absolute shootout. Um, you know, they kind of made the, their de uh, each team's defense like look a little worse than it is. They both have decent defenses, of course. Especially the Ravens have a really solid one. Uh, but I think a matchup like this, again, like would be a shootout. Explosive, fast offenses. Um, two teams I'm not really counting on to get the Super Bowl this year, but of course they have a have a shot. They could be really, really good teams this year. So I ranked that one number six, number five, which I actually like this one a lot. I almost want to rank it higher, but I don't think I don't think most of you will come up with this one. I don't think most people will view this as a great Super Bowl matchup, but I really, really like this one. And we, you know, people don't think the Falcon. As, you know the Falcons is a Super Bowl team, but they're really good. They should be a really good team going forward. A pretty complete roster. They have a quarterback now. Maybe the best offense line Kirk Cousins has ever had. Uh, you know they have weapons. Raheem Moore should have the defense balling. So they could be on the Bengals level here. And I think this would be a really good matchup. Kirk Cousins versus Joe Burrow. The weapons that these two teams have. Um, you know pretty balanced rosters for the most part. But. Uh, Jesse Bates revenge game that was something that kind of stood out one of the star safeties of the league going from the Bengals to the Falcons uh, but what I like here as is both head coaches come from the Rams Sean McVay and the Rams Raheem Morris was the defensive coach defensive coach for Sean McVay and did such a good job at the Rams and Zach Taylor who's now one of the better offensive coaches head coaches in football was with Sean McVay in the Rams saw so that that was interesting as well it'd be a pretty good matchup so that's what I came up with for number five I had the I had them both with different teams originally but that's what I ended up with at five number four Bills versus Eagles which would be a classic I think would be an expl I think would be an explosive offensive shootout again two solid defenses but if they match up with each other Josh Allen versus Jalen Hurts two Two quarterbacks that are physical runners, tough to bring down. You have to game plan for them, you know, with their scrambling ability or design runs, but they both get aired out as good as anyone. So, like, similar of a game plan, I guess, for other teams. So they go head to head, you know. So I think that actually be a lot of fun. And Sean McDermott was coaching as an assistant with the Eagles for a long, long time in Philadelphia. So I thought that was interesting as well. So. 
it's tough to rank this at four. I wanted to put this in the top three, but this would be a fun Super Bowl matchup for Super Bowl 59. Number three, I, I mean, the Jets and the Packers, Aaron Rodgers revenge game. I mean, this in terms of storylines, this would probably be number one in terms of storylines. You know, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers versus Jordan Love, Aaron Rodgers trying to get his revenge, Jets, Jets versus Packers. I mean, it would be legendary storyline, and it's such a good storyline that I ranked it in the top three. I don't know if we can say this is number one or two. I think there's more like juggernaut teams. I think very highly of the Packers for this year, um, so I think they can be a juggernaut team. But I, and there's just bigger, better teams in most people's eyes, so couldn't quite rank it one and two. I think people are kind of sleeping on both these teams, really. I think the Packers are more of a Super Bowl contender than people think. And the Jets, I think people go, well... Yeah, Rodgers is old, coming off the Achilles injury, and this team continues to get beat up, so they got no shot. And I'd say, yeah, it is a big if if they stay healthy, but if they stay healthy, I mean, th this is a really, really good football team. It's definitely realistic they can get here, but Jets versus Packers would be epic. Uh, you know, two pretty balanced teams as well. Just the storyline would be insane. So I ranked that one number three. I originally had the Packers versus... I thought about Packers versus Texans. I, I would really like Packers versus Chiefs. Uh, but I originally had the Packers versus the Bengals and I ended up going, oh, Jets Packers. That storyline would be nuts. And I do like the Bengals Falcons one that I came up with. So rank that one three. And that brings us number two. And you can figure out my number one. Number two, Chiefs versus Lions I would love. I mean, they played each other week one to open up the season last year. And it was an interesting game. It was a wild game that... Could have went either way. The Lions pulled it off when no one really expected them to in Kansas City. And it's not up here because they played each other week one last year. But I thought that was kind of a bonus. It kind of made things interesting. But I just like this matchup. I think this is probably one of those teams that, you know, you think of the Chiefs are the best team in football right now because they're that good. They have the best player in football. They're coming off Super Bowl. Who's the second best team? Most people probably wouldn't say the Lions. They'd probably say other teams maybe, but the Lions are pretty close. But maybe who has the best chance to dethrone the Chiefs, and you can't be an AFC team. We're talking about in a Super Bowl matchup. I like the way the Lions match up with them. They're, you know, they have that physicality to match or better the Chiefs. They have that run game. What you got to do on the Chiefs? You got to pound the football and be physical. The Lions have that run game they can throw as well. Um, you know, so I think that'd be an interesting one. And I, you know, talking about non Chiefs fans, like just football fans out there. Not all of them, but majority of them probably want to see, you know, they don't want to see the Chiefs win again. There's a lot of people that don't like the Chiefs. People just, it seems to be a thing in sports. You know, people just don't like the team that, that's the best, the team that keeps winning. I'm not that type of person, but um, there are people like that, and the people complain that they're kind of getting calls, and they're being gifted Super Bowls. It's nonsense, but yeah, as you can tell, there's a lot of people that dislike the Chiefs right now or just are sick of them being at the top. And it also seems like a majority of, like, the people's team right now, just the people's team of football, feels like the Lions. I think there's a lot, like, not looking at Lions fans, everyone else, there's a lot of people that just are rooting for the Lions, like the story last year, them, you know, being such a bad team for a long time, and they have a lot of likable players, they have a likable staff, like, you know, kneecap biter type guys, you know, uh, high motor type guys, young, developing fast, and finally winning. There was a lot of hype around the NFL at the Lions because people were just kind of just root, like good story rooting for them um, you know so it just seemed like they picked up more of a fan base I guess for people that weren't specifically Lions fans so this feels like the people's matchup to me like people want the Chiefs to finally go down and the Lions maybe could be the team to do it good matchup and the team people will kind of be rooting for that's kind of where I thought of with this one and I think it is a good matchup and uh, you know, the Lions have that run game that can give the Chiefs problems, but Mahomes can give the Lions big time problems. So I did really like that one. I originally was going to rank this one, um, but I did not actually. I, ra I ranked, and you figured it out already. I ranked the uh, Texans and the Niners. I think it's the best matchup. Um, I really thought about the Texans Packers too. Like, just something totally new, something totally fresh, young teams, Stroud versus Love. I love that one as well. Thought about that. But this would be a really, really good matchup and for several reasons here. But my favorite part, my favorite reason is these teams are very, very similar. I know one has been a contender for a long, long time, and one is kind of that new contender. Maybe people don't want to believe it. The Texans are going to go, you know, they can contend, but they can. You know, they're, they're that talented. They're, they're, they're coming. But, 
you know, believe it or not, they are very, 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 very similar uh, teams, how they are built. And some of it has to, maybe has to do with D'Amico Ryans being there, and that's another reason. D'Amico Ryans going against the Niners, Niners going against him. But you look at this team top to bottom, they, they both have young, uh, improving quarterbacks with Stroud and Purdy. You look at the weapons, you know, they have veteran weapons, uh, Stephon Diggs, Nico Collins, you know, at receiver versus uh, Debo, Samuel, and Brandon Ayuk, but then that third receiver, you know, a young, flashy guy in Tank Dell, and the Niners just added Ricky Pearsall. Yeah, I mean, Kittle's better than Schultz, but you have Schultz, but you have a Kittle versus Schultz. The offensive line, these are good, good offensive lines if if healthy. So they have some durability concerns. Looking at the star left tackle matchup of Laramie Tunsil and and maybe the best football of Trent Williams, and defensively they're built the same way from top to bottom, and I, you know, where their strengths are and what what they where they put their focus on. And I do think that a lot of it has to do with D'Amico Ryan's kind of building the Niners defense and now building the Texans defense. Um, you know, so. It's and the Niners probably the Niners haven't beat his uh, linebacker and an interior defensive line, but um, the Texans got a rising star in Derek Stingley Jr. and they add Daniel Hunter to try to match like a Nick Bosa. So that, I mean that's not that actually might have been their goal, like D'Amico Ryan trying to find that Nick Bosa caliber guy. But they do have Will Anderson as well. They have that duo edge rush. Um, so this would be epic. I mean, and the Niners just, I mean, they can't beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, I guess. Apparently they can't do it. So let's see the Niners get a crack at somebody other than the Chiefs here. We know the Niners, it's kind of heartbreaking. It's, they, 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 they've been worthy of winning Super Bowls and they just, oh, they just, they come up so just, just short and they can't quite do it. And it looks like they're going to do it and they can't. So you go against a younger team. But, you know, how's it going to work out? Like, are they going to play mind games with each other? Like, D'Amico Ryans knows how Shanahan plays. Shanahan knows how D'Amico Ryans plays. Is that coming? Does that end up being a factor? Probably. So, uh, I think these two teams are good enough to be a really good Super Bowl matchup. I think they're pretty even in how the teams are built. And then you have, uh, yeah, I mean, the how familiar they are with each other with the coaching staffs and D'Amico Ryan's used to be on that coaching staff. So that wouldn't be fun. So I actually had this one at two I actually originally had the Texans Packers and I kept switching things. That's why this was fun. I kept going, ah, this is better. This is good. Um, this is what I ended up with. So this was random video idea. Um, I thought it was fun. Here we are in the off season, kind of to get, think of fun things to do. I think you play along in the, in the comments. Hopefully you understand it, but um, yeah, there you have it. Um, you can use teams outside these. This is kind of how I limited it because if you start, uh, you know, the Brown, leaving the teams like the Browns and the, I guess maybe the Jags out is a little tough. But who are you going to match them up with? Like, who are the next best NFC teams? Look at uh, top of my head, like Seahawks and the Bears have somewhat decent odds. Um, you know, so you're it's tough to find the Browns and the Jags like e uh, even N you know NFC team for an even matchup. So fourteen teams, these fourteen with the very best odds, and it's Gordon FanDuel end up working out. So it was a fun little exercise to do here. Um, so let me know what you guys got in the comments. Any video ideas you guys want to see as we are in that kind of boring part, just waiting for the season to start? You know, let me know uh, in the comments. Always talking with you guys on Twitter as well. Check out our draft, our post draft videos. A lot of good stuff on there. Sponsors, GLE Shop, Liquid IV, code GOAT for a percentage off. Links pinned in the comments for anything you're looking for. It's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.